Okay, representing the Missouri Tigers, DeAndre Golston, Trey Gomillion, the coach, of course. Ben Sternberg. Des Moines Hodge and Ben Sternberg. Des Moines Hodge and Ben Sternberg. Coach, let's uh, let's start with you. Um, tough game, uh, obviously, but um, uh, what did you see from your perspective? Well, I credit uh, Mitch Henderson and his group. They did an outstanding job, um, not just in our game, even the previous game, but they made some shots. They did some great things, um, but I love my group. Uh, we're not judged by one game, and I adamantly will continue to say that, but we definitely got to credit our opponents uh, for an outstanding game that they played. Questions? For Dre and Des Moines, what were they doing defensively that it seemed to make it so difficult on you guys, especially in the first half? Um, well, like Coach Gates said, you know, they're a great team. They had a great game plan. Um, I believe they were packing the lane, you know, not allowing you know, drives from us, and not allowing us to drive and kick and get shots for guys like Des Moines Hodge. So you know, they had a good game plan, just pack the lane, you know, stop penetration you know, early, and they helped them out. Trey, uh, Coach Gates said the other day that he sees a lot of himself as a player in you. I was just wondering, what do you do on the bench that, that you, you know, go out there and what makes you want to be there for these guys as more of a coach and is there coaching in your future? Um, just doing anything I can to help the guys. Um, since I can't suit up and play, um, I feel like me being able to do that uh, is the most unselfish thing I can do for this team. and. Um, as far as the coach in the future, um, the future would tell. Who knows? Mahi. Uh, Dennis, I, you were speaking before about this isn't about one game. I wonder if you, if it's too early to have perspective on the whole season and what you, uh, what you've achieved and, and, and the broader feeling of what this, what this team has meant to you. Well, when it comes down to reflection, um, I've always appreciated my guys from the very, very beginning of our conversations and journey. They've done a tremendous job. They've done everything that I've asked them to do. They've done even more, right? What they've been able uh, to do together is 20 years from now, we'll look back. 10 years from now, we'll look back. Five years from now, we'll look back and see how important it was with what, what they've done. I, I appreciate every last one of our um, players, every last one of our staff members, but more importantly, I, I appreciate our uh, campus leadership. Desiree Reed Francois, our athletic director, and President Moon Choi, Board of Curators, for giving me an opportunity. Um, but these guys gave me everything that I could ask uh, of them, and that's what I'm most you know, thankful for. Let's take a Zoom call. Sir, can you hear us? Yep, Dan Tortora, wake up call, DT.com. Coach, just what you could say, I know you made mention of respect for Princeton and what they did in this game, but just what it says uh, overall that not just in this game, but throughout this tournament, the parity of college basketball has obviously changed over time. Well, it's always been a great tournament. I just think it has been a tournament, um, not just when you look at parity, but when you look at um, – expansion talks. The NCAA tournament has always expanded uh, if you look at the history of it. And I truly believe a lot of good teams have been left out. If you look at the NIT, if you look at even those teams that's in the Ivy League, uh, we were fortunate enough to play Penn, who was a preseason favorite. We were, we were fortunate enough to watch as much Princeton as we could. And I've, I've seen several good teams in that conference that could very well uh, be in the NCAA tournament. All I'm saying is the big picture um, is probably time for expansion. Um, there has been talks about it. That's a good program that we played, and several teams, even Vanderbilt in, from our conference, were left out. And you have to understand several teams and other conferences have done the same. So when it comes to parity, I just think when you look at expansion, uh, it's probably time to. Ron. Ron Kreitzer from the San Francisco Chronicle. Dennis, what, what makes Princeton so good? What, as you prepared for this game, what jumped out at you? And then what, as the game unfolded, what allowed them to sort of separate themselves? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I think 
what stood out was the same things that stood out before. They're, they're a good team with great players, first and foremost. They're here because they've earned that right over a period of time. Uh, they do a great job of execution on both ends. Uh, they've done a great job individually from um, the time of getting and knocking down open shots. They made a lot of shots uh, this evening, and some were tough. Um, we were able to get the lead or one time. We held the lead for 30 seconds uh, in the entire game. And every time we got the lead or when they had the lead, we cut it to six. They came back down and did what a good team would do, make a shot or make a play. It just wasn't our day to make those plays or make the same shots. But I, you know, I'm proud of my players. I'm proud of our program. It's not the outcome that we wanted. But my hat's off to Princeton and obviously uh, the path that they're on, earning a bid to the Sweet 16. Um, Coach Henderson, you know, wasn't able to do that as a player. Uh, he, he lost that game after they defeated UCLA. I think they lost to Mississippi State. Um, and to be able to take that next step in his career from a coaching perspective, I have nothing but respect for him. And he had his guys prepared. I had my guys prepared. And they were the better team today. Uh, first of all, you feeling okay? Look, you hit your head pretty hard there. And just how, how tough was it to watch for a long stretch there and not not be out there to be part of trying to make a comeback there? Uh, obviously, when I when I fell and got out of the game, my team um, they started playing well. So it wasn't even the fact that I wasn't in the game. I feel like we did some good stuff during that stretch to um, cut the lead down. But obviously, they made shots. I mean, they're a good team. They made some wide open trees there. Um, so well, I commend my team for holding it down and. Make it um, holding a while I was on the bench. We have time for one more question. This question is for Ben. Whatever question it is, it's for Ben. I was going to ask all four of you guys. Um, just wondering, it, I know you've only been at Mizzou for a year, um, but what's the? How do you want your time at Mizzou to be remembered? Yeah. Um, I just want to be remembered as a group of guys who just loved, like loved each other, on and off the court. We were together every day um, at the crib in the gym, obviously. Um, and not only that, but we want to be known as like the stepping stone for coach. Um, we, coach, obviously, it's his first year. We wanted to create the culture here. And now um, the teams that come will follow us. Uh, I'll, I'll pee back on what Ben said, as building the culture. Um, going to Mizzou was not a hard decision for me, especially um, playing for Coach Gibbs at Cleveland State, but just building the foundation of what we know he can be and what his goals are was really good. And the Mizzou fans us backing us and having faith in us to come in here and do what we do, it means a lot for the um, Columbia community. We just, we I, I, I thank them for um, embracing me and my team. So I appreciate Mizzou for that. And the same thing, um, just laying the foundation, um, you know, building that, that culture back in, in Columbia and getting those fans back involved. But, um, you know, just doing the things we did and, you know, we weren't supposed to be here at all in the first place. We weren't really supposed to make it to the semifinals of the ACC. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we lost today, but we have a lot to be proud of. So, I'll say that. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you.